Hi my dear friends, namaste all of you and today I came with a new topic friends and today's topic is how to calculate column steel quantities and friends those who didn't subscribe till now please subscribe to our channel by pressing red color subscribe button and press bell icon to get instant updates friends that is first updates to you whenever I upload a video you will get the first updates friends and coming to the topic friends as shown in the figure this is a column friends this is this is having a dimension of length 375 mm and width 200 mm the main steel that is the corner four rods are of 16 mm dia and the inner four rods are of 12 mm dia total eight bars friends and it is having two leg stirrup friends that is of 8 mm dia it consists of a hook at the center as shown in the figure and friends coming to the details as shown in the figure, this is the column friends uh, extending up to two floors and the, this is the bottom part friends that is the footing part that is actually any structure will be divided into two parts friends that is below the ground level is called substructure and above the ground level is called superstructure. First we have to consider the substructure that is the bottom part below the natural ground level. This is the natural ground level friends and below that we, we will see that here the footing height is 500 mm, remaining part is on the 1400 mm. The total consists of 2000 mm that is 2 meters friends and above the natural ground level it is 450 mm that is plinth height friends after plinth height and this is the FFL friends this is the finished floor level 0.45 and first floor level is plus 3.65 that is 3.65 meters from the NGL friends. So this is the basic important details length of the column above NGL that is natural ground level is 3650 that is this part to this part it is have it is already shown that first floor top height is 3.65 so we, have to, we are considering up to 3.65 height friends because friends when we start the column we have to have the rod into two parts every rod has been cut into two parts approximately it, it consists of six meters friends so as the rod is of six meters we have to tie the stirrups up to six meters also and the stirrup spacing friends it, it has given at the side friends that is ties 8 mm at 1 cent 5 mm center to center spacing and the day of the stirrup is 8 mm bars friends this is this is given here 8 mm and next coming to the calculation of the column steel friends here we have to calculate the length of the bars and stirrups and the hook friends so in stepwise manner it consists of just three steps friends first of all first step is friends length of the longitudinal bar that is given by 3650 this 3650 we have to calculate the whole length friends I had considered up to first floor friends so first floor to the bottom of the footing mat so 3650 is the length from NGL that is natural ground level to the top plus 1400 plus 500 that is the below the NGL below NGL to the footing mat friends minus 50 50 is the 50 is the covering thickness fit to cover plus 10 mm plus 10 mm this is the bottom mat friends that is along x axis and y axis so it will come on a 10 mm plus 10 mm and plus development length is 350 friends as, as given in the drawing so on calculation this we will get 5830 or 5.83 meters next step is coming up to next step is number of lateral ties required that is given by the length of the longitudinal bar minus effective length divided by spacing plus one so length of the longitudinal bars we, we got friends that is 5.83 meter minus that is the development length this is the development length this is given at the bottom that is minus 350 divided by what is the spacing friends that is 175 mm plus 1 on calculating this we will get 32 friends that is 32 number of stirrups required for the whole column friends that is up to first floor and the third cutting length of the each stirrup so we have to calculate the length length of the stirrup that is 8 mm bars so friends that that is given by the formula 2a plus 2b plus hook length minus bends plus c hook that is given at the center okay friends what is this a a equal to the column length is denoted by a friends this this is as shown in the figure width is denominated by e that is 200 mm so that uh, the length friends the length of the column is 375 minus 40 that is the clear cover on each side so one side 40 and another side is 40 that is total 80 friends minus 2d 2d is the bend reductions friends that is 2d 2 into 8 uh, on summing this we will get 279 mm friends likewise b friends that is along the width of the column this is uh, the width of the column is 200 minus two side covers that is 40 40 a minus what is the bend reductions friends that is 8 into 2d so on summing this we will get 104 mm friends and c hook uh, this is a special type of hook friends uh, where we will not see normally 
but as per the design requirements it has given there and c hook c hook is given by l plus 2 into 90 l is the length of the hook friends plus 90 is the hook length so it is having two hooks uh, friends so it is given as 2 into 90 so length what is the length friends width of this column is 200 mm 200 minus 40 one side and 40 and the side so total 80 plus 2 into 9 into 8 so this is the 9 difference d is the diameter 2 into 9 into 8 so on summing the summing this friends we will get 164 mm and substitute a b c values friends that is the a b and c hook in the above formula this and this formula 2 into a that a is 279 friends and 2 into b b is 104 mm friends minus 2 into 10 d friends sir 135 degrees we have to take 10 d 2 into 10 into 8 minus hook length is 2 into 10 d friends so it is having two hooks friends 2 into 10 into 8 minus bends bend reductions friends 3 into 2 in, into 8 that is 3 bends friends 3 into 90 degrees into 2 d 2 d means 2 into 8 mm into 3 three sides friends so it is denominated by 3 into 2 into 8 plus c hook what do we get from the c hook friends c hook is 164 mm on calculating this we will get 722 mm friends and coming to bar bending schedule that is calculations in excel format friends this is for easy understanding here it is shown that uh, our table format is like this friends that is serial number description of the work number of rods length coefficient of the bars and diameter of the bar and quantity in kgs and the first option is friends column steel we have to calculate the column steel how many rods friends we are having total 8 rods that is 4 rods of 12 mm dia and 4 rods of 16 mm dia so each rod length is 5.83 friends 5.83 meter so number of rods 4 length is equal to 5.83 and coefficient and this is of 12 mm dia friends so d square by 162 is 0. 88 so coefficient is 0 0.88 and diameter of the bar is 12 mm and quantity in case is 20.5 kg friends and likewise we have to calculate the and the four rods that is 4 into 5.83 that is the length and coefficient is for 16 mm bar friends d square by 162 is 1.58 into 16 on calculation number of rods into length into coefficient we will get 36.8 kg friends so we have to calculate the column stirrup so how many column stirrups number of rods is number of stirrups that is 32 the length of the each stirrup is 0.722 friends and the coefficient of each day of the bar is 8 mm so d square by 162 of 8 mm is 0.395 friends into diameter of the bar is 8 mm so we will get on calculation number of rods into length into coefficient we will get 9.1 kg friends on total we will get 66.5 kg friends and we have to take the as 5 percent that is 0.3 percent and the, we will get the gross weight in kg is 66.8 kg friends and this is the overall weight friends and the steel required for this column is 66.8 kg friends this is today's class friends this is very easy to calculate any of the column friends likewise this will be considered as a beam also for beam also this is same only the extra rods will on the top and the bottom friends same process for the beams also later i will show you how to calculate the beams and the slabs also friends and thanks for watching friends if you like this video please like it if you find this is good please share to your friends and please subscribe to our channel friends that is harish kumar's my own channel and please stay tuned to our channel friends this is harish signing off bye friends